you have been treated to the issue of weddings. Weddings, weddings by the petitioners. I ask this court to take judicial notice that in the National Assembly, and my learned friend Kibbe Mungai spoke about our tradition, we come from the same community, the first petitioner last year attended the wedding of a member of parliament, Eric Wamumbi, member of parliament for Madeira, where the first petitioner comes from. That member of parliament subsequently impeached him. If the basis of closeness <coughs> is the basis of impeachment, how would somebody who have attended his wedding impeach you? But he did not impeach him because of attending his wedding. He impeached him because of serious violations of the Constitution. So that if the issue here is a wedding being attended, the first petitioner himself has attended a wedding and not just as an ordinary guest. He was the father of that member of parliament in that wedding but he was still impeached. So that, my lords, I want you to take comfort. Those are matters before the Hansard of the National Assembly, which is evidence before this court. Your lordships should take comfort. The first petitioner in the National Assembly, he impugned institutions in the Senate, he impugned the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission, the National Intelligence Service. He has now impugned the conduct of IABC. He has now impugned the conduct of the National Assembly. He has impugned the conduct of the Senate. He has impugned the conduct of the executive. So which institution does he have faith in, in this country? It appears that there is none. My lords, eminent judges, it is a matter of judicial notice that your esteemed colleagues, although the petitioners argue that you are unfit to hear this matter, have elected one of you, presiding judge, to be a principal judge, your own peers, through a peer review. All judges in the country have elected one of you to be principal judge. Your peers equally have, have elected one of you to the Judicial Service Commission. My Lord, our application is limited to your lordships and her ladyship, not the other judges. And there are many outstanding judges in this country with courage, with everything. The petitioner has not cast aspersions on judges generally. We've stated our grounds for the application for recusal of this particular bench. 